What's up guys, I'm Alias Jopes, and I thought I'd make a video about my weapon loadout in Far Cry 4. So here it is. Now you can only carry four weapons simultaneously in the game, and there are a ton of them to choose from, so how did I narrow it down to just four? Well really what it comes down to is a lot of experimentation and figuring out what combination suits your particular playstyle. Keep in mind that these are just my list of favorite weapons, and aren't necessarily, in any way, the most powerful weapons in the game. But they just might be the most fun to use. I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the weapons first, and we'll come back to this clip in a minute. So first up, we have the MS-16 Assault Rifle. This was the same assault rifle I used in Far Cry 3, and I've decided to stick with it, for better or worse, in the sequel. For this weapon, you can use up to two attachments, and I've always chosen the uh, silencer and the optical scope. In addition, I use the granite paint job to give it that extra bit of flair. The main thing with the MS-16, especially if you're carrying the optical scope, is knowing when to aim down the scope and when to fire from the hip. I also find it extremely helpful to crouch while firing whenever you can, and trust me, those headshots will come a lot easier if you do. Next up, we have the D2, which is a sawed-off, double-barrel shotgun, much like the one found in Doom 2. Gee, I wonder where they got that name from. Now, you have to reload this gun after each blast, and it comes with no attachment options whatsoever, but it sure packs a hell of a punch. Some of the other shotties, like the Bull, which is a signature weapon you get later on in the game, look like that it may be even stronger, but this is actually misleading because while the D2 does have lower damage stats per round, it shoots two rounds per blast, unlike any of the others, making it one of the strongest shotguns in the entire game. And since it's technically a sidearm as well, you can even shoot it while you're behind the wheel. Next up, the M700 Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. Never attack an outpost without it. The M700 is actually the second sniper rifle you get in the game, and the first one that can be equipped with a silencer, so why did I pick this one? Surely there are better options to choose from, right? Yeah, well, for whatever reason, none of the others makes me feel quite as much of a badass as the M700. Attachment-wise, you're allowed to choose from two of the following, a silencer, an upgraded scope, and an extended magazine. Personally, I just use the silencer on mine, because after all, I am a simple man. Also, I strongly prefer the vintage paint job, which kind of makes it look like I've had this thing for years. I will admit that using this thing can be a bit tricky at first, but once you start getting better at lining up those headshots, then pretty soon, it'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Stinger. The Stinger is an SMG signature weapon equipped with a silencer, optical scope, and custom paint. It shoots rounds extremely rapidly, but because of its small clip, it's better if you try to shoot in controlled bursts. It's also a sidearm, so just like with the D2, you can shoot it while inside vehicles. So is it the best signature weapon money can buy? No. Is it even the best SMG in the game? Not even close. But it sure looks cool, and it's a hell of a lot of fun to use. Now, let's get back to the clip that we started in the intro, and we'll finally get to see all four of these guns in action, and how well they can complement one another. Remember, don't forget to use your grenades and your blade as well, because they can come in just as handy. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I'm Alias Jopes, and this has been a special Nate's Take. I'll see y'all next time.